Okay, um, question, is the bride the new Jerusalem? Mm, thank you, James. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to get into my, my uh, answering chair because this one's um, – it has a lot of lot of moving parts, but let's go to Revelation chapter 21. In Revelation chapter 21, we have a description of the New Jerusalem, and we have uh, some things that are said about this New Jerusalem. So John says, "Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away; also there was no more sea." Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Well, there you go, right? The New Jerusalem is the bride. So, yes, okay, but is it that simple? Well, probably not. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. That's kind of a, a little nuance uh, look into what we saw there in Hosea chapters 1 and 2, where God said, they're not my people, but now they are my people, right? So we can see that there. Um, and so is she or is she not? Well, in, indeed she is. Let's, let's skip down now to verse Nine. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled with the last seven plagues came to me and talked to me saying, come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away into the spirit, in the spirit into a great high mountain. And he showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, etc. Okay, so yes, the new Jerusalem is the bride but we need to understand something let's think about a city for just a moment let's take new york city okay uh city everybody knows what is new york city is new york city a place on the map yes it is okay you can travel to that place you can go to new york city but when you get to new york city what do you see there well you see uh, land, right? You see dirt, you see roads, you see buildings, you see bridges, infrastructure. Is that New York City? Yes, it is, right? It, that is New York City. But is is that the entirety of New York City? Well, no, because we often say that, well, you know, New York City has just passed a law. Is it the buildings that are passing laws? Is it the bridges that are making decisions? No, of course not. Where did all those bridges and such come from? From the people, right? So there's there's three things that that um, that every city is comprised of: a physical location, uh, some kind of infrastructure. It may be very simple, but there's still some infrastructure to it. You know, some kind of buildings, maybe bridges or something. Something is there. I mean, just a wall. Uh, maybe it's just, you know, four rocks demarcating this is our, our place, okay? It's not a very impressive city, but it could be a city, I suppose. Um, but most cities have some kind of infrastructure. And then something that every city has to have to really be a city, otherwise we call it a ghost town. What does it need? It needs people. So in this city known as New Jerusalem, there's one very, very important part. And that important part is the people that occupy the city, all right? And it's the people, not just the, the structure, not just the place, but it's the people that really make it home, right? You can go to a, a building, and you may not be able to call that home because there's nobody living there. It's just a, it's just a place. But it, when there's people there, well, now it's a home, and now it can really be considered a bride. So it is all three of those things that make it, a city because notice what is actually written on the city itself verse 12 also she had a great and high wall with 12 gates 12 important number and 12 angels at the gates and names written on them which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel wow that's really important right so there we have these 12 tribes that cannot be um divorced from the city we see this also in ezekiel chapter 48 uh, and i would suggest that these are in fact the same city 
I won't go into all the details now, but uh, I'm going to make that assertion for now. And it says, the, the, uh, these are the exits of the city. And this is in Ezekiel 48, verse 30. On the north side, measuring 4,500 cubits, the gates of the city shall be named after the tribes of Israel, the three gates northward, one for Reuben, one gate for Judah, and one gate for Levi. And you get the idea. It goes all the way around the city. And it says, all the way around shall there shall be 18,000 cubits, and the name of the city from that day shall be, what's the name of it? The Lord is there. In Hebrew, Yehovah Shammah, right? This is the Lord's city, right? He's married to this city. And who, who occupies it? The 12 tribes of Israel. Sure, it, it's, it's on the foundations of the apostles. No question about that. But the gates, the people going into it, each tribe has a gate. That's not just an afterthought or kind of a nice little touch or a historical reference to what used to be. No, this is present day reality, uh, what he's getting at there. So it is both and, and so important that we saw that God said, you are no longer my people, but it will be said to them in the place where it was said to them, you are not my people. It shall be said to them, you are sons of the living God. Wow. And what does God say in Hosea chapter two? You know, she's not my wife. I'm going to betroth you to me. You're going to be my bride. To betroth someone means that that person, that woman, is now your bride. This is it. The, the new Jerusalem that, yes, is a physical place, yes, has physical structures, or maybe they're made of spiritual bricks, but they're still real bricks or whatever they are. It's real tangible stuff. But it's the people that dwell in that city that make it home, that make it a real bride, and that bride is, in fact, Israel. So um, to answer your question, it's going to be all three, but it has to be the people. Uh, and as much as it is a place and it is uh, infrastructure, but it's also the people. All right. Thank you, James. That was a fun question.